Alright, hi guys. Um, so, it's Olivia again, and I'm getting ready to go for a job interview. No, I'm not going with my pretty little pink thing on, although it does look cute. Anyway, so, I'm going to go through my steps that I'm doing for an interview, um, for my interview makeup. Alright, so, I started off with my primer, and I'm just using a L'Oreal primer. Um, I really like this one. This is the Radiance Booster. So it gives a 24 hour hydration and you can just get it at your local drugstore. Um, oh, I'm shedding. Okay, so um, so I started off with that. I'm just gonna show you, I'll, I'll put a little bit. So that's what this one looks like and then just a little bit. And I put it all over. And what a primer does is it really gives you that clean slate um, to work with. And I do put a little bit on my eyelids. Just make sure you don't get it in your eye. Because uh, I don't have an actual shadow primer. Um, I need to invest in one. But I do use, but I'll use my regular primer. Um, Alright, so I'm going to start off with my concealer. Because if you can see the darkness under my eyes, like, I cannot get rid of this. Here, let me see if I can. God, I wish I could put that up in my mirror. It would be so much better. But you can see how dark my eyes are underneath. It looks like somebody, like, literally punched me in my face. <laughs> and they did not. Because um, if they did that, they wouldn't be standing. Um, so, I'm going to. Oh, let me get my. So, I'm going to use my little primer brush. Or not primer, sorry, concealer brush. And I've got a dual in one. This is for this side is for foundation, and then that side is for concealer. And you can just get these brushes at any drugstore. <clears throat> sorry. Okay. So I'm going to use my concealer right here. And I'm just going to pat underneath my eyes with that concealer. And lightly patent. Don't do anything too drastic, nothing too hard. And you're gonna come just a little bit underneath the the um, the eye bone there. Okay. So let me blend it and show you. And then I take my little blender and I just lightly blend it. So you can see the difference. So that one has the concealer on it, and this one does not. So you can really see the difference. And what the padding does, is instead of swiping, that way you're not pulling your skin. Because the more we pull at our skin, the more wrinkles it causes, and the more issues that we have with our skin. And so with the blender, even though I'm pulling at it, it's not really pulling. Like I'm lightly doing it and I'm kind of lightly patting with it. And so I'm using like our little heart shaped one and the ends are really, really good to get up into those corners and really blend. So you can see how the darkness just went away. All right, then I'm going to do my foundation. And so I'm using, I'm just using like a little tapered looking brush. Um, I wrote primer on here, but, um, but it's not really primer, it's foundation. So this one right here, the darker one is the foundation. And all this makeup is the, uh, the Ampi, the Ampi makeup this stuff is amazing. And so I'm just going to brush it on. And why I like the brushes and like I say, you get these brushes anywhere. Um, they don't have to be fancy. They don't have to be the most expensive. Just something that gets the job done. But I love brushes because it's easier to put on. You're not making a mess. And I feel like an artist when I'm doing it. Because that's exactly what you are. You're being your own artist and you're painting your face. 
And there really are no rules to make up, just, you know, throwing that out there. Um, there are steps, but there are no rules. And there are recommendations, but there are no rules. Alright, and so I do, I put this all over my face, including under my eyes a little bit, and that just kind of blends in the concealer. I do put a little bit on my lips. So basically what the foundation is going to do is it kind of sets the mood on the makeup. And I do put a little bit on my eyelids, just because I want everything matching, and that's just my personal, that's just me being me. Um, all right, all right, so, so you see, I've got that on. Now I'm going to take my blender, my lovely silicone blender. This is my silicone one. You can use sponge brushes like this, but you see how dirty that is and you have to constantly clean it? This one, you can just wash it off with soap and water and then it's good to go, dry it off, and you're good to use it right away. Where with a sponge, you just have to let it sit. And so you're gonna blend that down and you're gonna kinda blend it down into your neck. That way it kinda looks like everything rubs together. But what the blending does is it allows um, or it helps to blend everything together so it's not all like splotchy in places. And you're blending that all together and so you are gonna get some of those places that you might have missed with the brush. Okay, so I have that on. I don't know if y'all can see, I think my light's starting to die already. All right, so there's that. Then I'm going to take and do the powder foundation, which is this one right here. So it's a little bit lighter than the uh, than the actual foundation, which is actually good. So if your foundation looks a little dark, like mine looks really dark, especially for the winter because I'm kind of pasty. Um, with me being Irish and German, I got that European thing going and I'm really pale. So it does look dark and then you can see the difference between here and here right so that's where this is going to come in this is going to kind of tone it down a little bit just a little bit and again you're just going to put this all over your face and with the brush this is why i like the brush better than the uh than the sponge that comes with a lot of powders is because I have a little more control on how much powder I'm getting. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down on my neck too and just kind of try to blend that in just a little bit. So I have a little color on my neck to match. So I don't look quite as goofy. Okay. Then I'm going to, then the next thing I do is I concentrate on one area at a time. So now that my face is completely done, I've got my palette, then I start with my eyes. Sorry. And then, so I'm going to do my eyeshadow. Actually, I wonder if I should do, you want, let me do a liner. Let me do a liner today. I don't always do a liner, um, but maybe today I should. No, I shouldn't. Not for an interview. No. Liner is good for nighttime, um, so I'm going to nix the liner. Um, so I'm going to just do the eyeshadows. So I've got four eyeshadows. I've got this really pretty blue, which I don't really want to use for an interview, although it is really pretty. My favorite colors are these right here, are these three. I use the champagne colored one in, uh, for the base, 
and then I do this color and then this one just to add a little extra okay and I'm going to show you what I mean so I'm going to start off with the champagne color which is this lighter pink color and the lighter colors are great for the base and that just kind of gives you um, something to work with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it onto my eye and why I pat is it gives you that softer look and you're not getting all this powder from the eyeshadow coming down underneath because we all get that right so if you pat it then you've got less of that coming down so I do So I'm going to pat that all over. So you see how I have that all the way up, just like that? And this is really pretty to wear by itself, just to give your eyes a brighter look. Um, I do really like that. And I do kind of come out to the corners of my eye right here as well. But you see how I don't have any powder under here? It's because I'm patting it on and not swiping it. And to be honest, I just learned about the padding a couple weeks ago. Because I'm like most of us, where I would just swipe it on because I was like, oh, that's so much quicker and that's what everybody does. Padding is amazing. And it looks really good. Okay. So now that I've got my... I've got my base coat on, see that? I need a chair so I can sit like right in front of you guys. Cause I'm having to bend down to, I need something to put it up so I can, eventually I'll have something. Um, actually I might have something. Hold that thought. <laughs> I do, look at that. All right, that way you guys are up and you can see, and let me make some room here. Hold that thought, guys. I'm making a mess. Okay, there we go. Ah, there, see, so much better. Why did I think of that before? All right, now I'm not having to bend down. Okay, so now that I have that, so as you see, I think my light's starting to die. So I've got that, that champagne color on. Then I'm going to go with my, oops, with the rosy color. This color right here. Love this color. It's my favorite color. And I'm going to do a seven on my eye. You're probably like, what? A seven? What is she talking about? Okay, this is what a seven is. So you're going to start right here. And you're just going to go to the corner of your eye, just like this, like a number seven. And you're just doing the outskirts of your eye. See? What time is it? Okay. I think I'm good. I'm good because I don't have to be there until 9.25, so I have plenty of time to get my makeup done. When I get this job, I'm going to have to start getting up earlier so I can do my makeup. Okay, so you see how that is, and it kind of widens my eye a little bit. And again, you're doing the padding, so you're not getting all that excess um, shadow. Then I'm going to, and you know, this is where the makeup eraser comes in, you know, our famous makeup eraser. This is a must have for everybody, everybody, including males. Males can use it too, even though my husband laughs at me, I caught him using it the other day. But you can take and clean your brushes with it, um, just like you would your face. Um, I use it for, of course, removing my makeup. Um, but also when I wash my face, I use it to take off my, um, my cleanser, which right now I'm using our, our clean. That's the cleanser that I'm using. Um, so 
it is a multiple use thing. So I'll clean my brush off a little bit. Then I'm going to go back with the, with that orangey color. Now the orangey color is great for people with blue eyes. Um, because as you see, I have bluish, greenish eyes. And so what I'm going to do, and then this is just going to kind of fill in like right in here. Just the lid part of it. Just like that. Alright, so you see? Can you all see? So that is what the finished eye, well, finished shadow looks like. Alright. Then I can take a little like feather type brush. I've got so many brushes I can't find one. Okay, like... And I've used them for multiple things. Okay, I think this is the one I used. So something like this, just to kind of blend. And you're just going to lightly blend all that together. Just like that. So you see, I'm blending lightly. And then if you feel like you want more on the outside, which actually I think this look right here is pretty good. Um, but if you feel like you want more of that rosy color or the outside color, feel free to add it. Um, in fact, I'll show you what I mean. And again, you're just going to do the seven going on the outside just to kind of touch that up just a little bit. Just like that, see? And then you can lightly blend again. Just like that. All right, so that's your shadow. I love our shadows. Ooh, it's about time to get my eyebrows waxed again. Oh, maybe not. Okay, then I'm going to do my mascara. Ah, here we go. All right, so favorite mascara, favorite mascara is our fiber. Our Ampli, Amp, Ampli Mascara and Ampli my, uh, Fibers. Okay, so you're going to start off, this is a duo, and you get these together, okay? So you're going to start off with the mascara. I'll move that so I don't get it all over myself. And you're just going to do the tops of your lashes and the bottoms, and you're going to kind of push it up. And what that does is it does make your eye lashes look fuller um, but it also helps the fibers to stay on I mean, you see that I mean even with just the mascara itself I already have my lashes already look great and you can get the mascara by itself um, but I do recommend the fibers. So the fibers are kind of like having false lashes without the false lashes. So this is much better for your eye than doing the false lashes because you're not adding glue or anything like that to it. So that is the brush of the fibers. And I'm just gonna go again on the top of my lashes from the root to the tips and then again from the roots to the tips on the bottoms. And you see how that Open my eyes up a little bit. Uh oh, somebody's texting me. Oh, it is my daddy. My dad's texting me to wish me good luck on my interview today. I'm so excited about my interview. I really didn't want to go back to work, but you know what? Bills have to be paid. Um, all right. So then I'm going to do the mascara, and that helps keep those fibers on. See that? And it will keep them from falling into your eyes as well. So when you do this, do make sure that you're looking up when you do it instead of looking down or else you're going to get it like all over your eyes. Um, 
and that's it. And you're just doing those, the top lashes. Then, if you want longer lashes, like if you want them to look a little longer, um, you can go back over just the tips with the fibers. Just like that. And then again, you're going to go back over it with the mascara. So those are my lashes. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. Alright, so now I'm going to go into my, my blush. Now, I have two different color blushes. I have Chipper. And then I have this rosy wine color, which is called Sophisticated. All right, so that's the sophisticated, and then this one is chipper. And I think today I'm going to do the, I'm gonna do the chipper today. Okay, so, fortunately I don't have room in my little palette for it, so that's why it's out. Um, and when you buy these now, because we no longer sell this, as of right now, we don't sell the palette. So everything that you buy, comes just like this okay um unfortunately i'm hoping that they bring it back <sighs> okay so i'm going to take my blush brush which is like one of these i'm just going to pat it just like that and then i'm just doing along the the cheekbone okay and out so i'm gonna go right about here and I'm patting it on. Okay, you see that? Okay. Okay, then I'm going to take my blender again and I'm just gonna lightly blend that out. And I have these nice rosy cheeks. Now, if it tends to be, sometimes it can be a little, like, heavy. It looks like, oh, my God, what is that? Uh, it looks like a clown. Then you can take your foundation. And, like, I just take my powder foundation. This, this one right here. And then I can just lightly go over that just to kind of tone it down just a little bit. Because I do feel like sometimes that's a little bright. I don't want to look like Mimi. I love Mimi, but I don't want to look like Mimi. Her makeup is a little too clownish. <clears throat> Alright, so that's face, eyes, and blush, right? So the next step is the uh, lips. And I'm kind of putting everything away here. All my brushes. Now they do actually have lip brushes. I don't really use them um, just because I feel like I don't really have any use for it. Because um, our brush, our um, our lip colors come with a brush, and so I just use what's in the brush. But for a softer look, you could do a lip brush. Okay, so these are the colors that I have. Let's see if you guys can see all those. This one is my favorite. And then this one. And I do like this one. And the flirty is okay. Oops. So I think I'm going to do the sweet just because I'm going for an interview. I don't want anything too wild. 
So I'm doing this color and it's called Sweet. Okay. Now what I like about these is they dry really, really quick and then they last forever. Well, maybe not forever, but they last for a long time. So you're not having to reapply it every, I don't know, 10 minutes. And you see it's just that really soft pink. Great for Valentine's Day going out on a date. Uh, I absolutely love this one. Um, oops. Let me get my blender in here. And once it dries, uh, it won't feather out like it just did. Uh, that was only because it was still wet. But once it dry, look, it's already dry. And then it, it will last for a while, even between eating and drinking. Um, it will pretty much last. Then, my last final step, and this is a must-have for me. Not only is a primer a must-have, but also a really good setting spray. And I really like L'Oreal setting spray. Unfortunately, our company doesn't have one. I did put a little bug in their ear that they needed to have a primer back and that they need to do a setting spray. So what a setting spray does is everything that you just did, even though our makeup lasts for a while, this setting spray keeps it in place. And you can use this all day long, um, you know, throughout the day just to kind of uh, feel a little more refreshed. So you're just going to, I have to shake this. Yep, I do have to shake it. I keep forgetting to shake it. All right, so you're just gonna shake it, shake it really well, because what happens is it settles. All right, so I shake it, and then you're just gonna spray it all over your face, just like that. And that keeps everything in place that you just did. All right, so I'll take my hair down so we look So I have going in for an interview, this nice little, this look, it's it's colorful, but it's not bold and it's, um, it just looks the part. It looks very professional. Um, and I'm going in for, for the school system. So this is great to wear around the kids and you're not wearing something so bold, you know, which normally I could do. Fix my hair. All right, there we go. So that is the interview look, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can always comment below, and I will respond back to you, and I will talk to you guys later.